Well, this is the second time I had to record this since for some since Jeremiah called me. The video messed up. But anyway, it's story time episode, which is a new series I'll be doing about saying stories about stuff that happened in my life and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on and what happened. So. I was going to school on the second day because they put me in the seventh grade on the first for some reason. I decided to start drawing because, well, nobody would like me since I like video games like Nintendo and whatnot until I met Brandon and Jeremiah. Brandon ended up complimenting my drawing and I'm like, Wait, really? Because back then, even now, I still think my drawings aren't the best, but it's something, I guess. Um, so, and Brandon was able to name every single character, slash, you know, icon or whatever, or logo or something, from each game. I was shocked, because I thought I'm the only one that likes games like this or whatever, because I'm video game noob or whatever, but it turned out it wasn't like that, because Brandon and Jeremiah ended up liking this stuff too. So I started talking to them more often, we started talking about ACF and Undertale and whatnot, and we kept telling each other stuff that happened in our life and whatnot. So. I vowed, I literally vowed to myself, these guys are my new best friends. I, ha I have to make sure that I'm always by their side during school, no matter what happens. And so, people at the school were real jerks, and teachers were real bitches. So, like Elijah, for example, we started bothering me and Brandon for no reason. I ended up roasting him because he was in a wheelchair. He's like, yo, I'm gonna come at you or whatever. I'm like, how are you gonna do that in a wheelchair? And everyone was like, oh, savage, disrespect, oh. And then my EOE teacher is like, step outside. Okay. I walked outside. I had a whole conversation about like why I shouldn't have done that and blah, blah, blah whatever. Because she didn't see what happened what exactly happened. All she heard was what I said. So, I come back in, Elijah came to the wheelchair, he's like, that's mad offensive. Like, okay. He thinks just because he was in a wheelchair, he, he got to do whatever he wants. He's still in a wheelchair now, but just because he was in a wheelchair, that doesn't mean he gets to do whatever he wants. So I had to teach him the hard way. And then, well, after that, it's been a lot like that since Uriah was being a dick, bothering us for no reason, and whatever, acting like he's so tough, saying he's gonna do something he's not even gonna do. I don't get it. But, whatever. I mean, but anyway, I guess back to the topic I had. So... Now let's get to the teachers, after I told you about the jerks I was in my school, besides certain people. Teachers. The math teacher was hard outside out good, but then she became crazy annoying. Miss Psychowitz, aka Miss Psycho Bitch, the math teacher, she was always annoying. She got mad at us for having Brandon and Jeremiah take me for a nurse. She got mad at us for that, and she kept, she kept us up the whole recess, and she called our parents just for that. I don't know why she did that. That was pretty dumb of her. I mean, I get the fact she's stupid, but it doesn't mean she gets to do that. And Miss Briggs, like, let me put it like this. She hates the fact that me, Brandon, and Jeremiah are friends. And when I left the school, she's like, great, now we don't have to deal with the three musketeers. Like, fuck you. Fuck you, too. Yeah. Yes, me too. Because 
We were friends. They actually had my back. What was you doing? Where was you when Jose pushed me and whatever for no reason? Where was you when Jirai was bothering me and whatnot? Where were you when all these people did all this? Where were you? They were there. But where was you? They was actually there for me. They was there for me when I was in my mental breakdown. Breakdown. They was there for me when I was that depressed. They was there for me when I felt like killing myself. Where was you? You was nowhere in sight. You was just out there doing your own thing. And then when you saw them actually decide to care for me, you just got mad at us. And we apparently made you sick. Just because we're good friends, that makes you sick. You probably had no friends back then, I get it. Or they probably wasn't as good as Brandon and Jeremiah, but that doesn't mean that you have the right to say, we make you sick. And even if, if you're going to say that, at least keep it in your head. You don't have the right to, to just tell a student, you make me sick or whatever. Like, that makes no sense. So, just for all of you on the internet, don't trust Miss Briggs. If you go to MS7, tell Miss Briggs, that I hate her, she could burn in hell. Well, maybe I don't hate her, but I really don't like her. At this point. And she got mad because I went upstairs to get my book back. Jeremiah ended up coming with me. She waits for us trying to be in the, all up in our business. And then she tries to wait for us up there. She waits well, downstairs. She waits up for us downstairs. So we came back. She's like, yo, why was you just skipping class running around? She just assumed that we were just walking around the building because we came back down the other way. And she just assumed that was her bitchy self. Like, you don't know what we were doing. I was just trying to get my book back. And she's like, oh, well, why did you let Jeremiah come? You should have went there by yourself. We're acting like I asked him to come. I didn't even know he was coming. Not that I didn't meet him to come. But I didn't even know he came. I just figured out. You're just assuming things now. And the fact that you just thought that I was roaming around the building. Like, you can't say that if you don't even know what we was doing. You can't say that without knowing what the hell we was doing. So you don't make the situation any better. You just assuming things and thinking the only result to the conflict is telling my mom? And you don't even know about all the stuff that I have to put up with outside of school. I have all the shit that I have to put up with throughout my life. You're not even, you're not making it any better, you're making it worse. You thought it was a good idea to have the principal agree to only suspending me and like another girl who punched me just making her write an essay. You don't even do anything about it. You suspend me and you put me in the second grade. Like, I don't get that. The only reason I actually wanted it to happen was because I was sick of it. But outside of I think that's not how it works. They're not going to care. Will they? They're still going to come back at me charging, wanting to beat me up or whatever. So, how does that help? And even if you're forcing me to spend my birthday in the second grade like the dumbass you are. What kind of principal does that? Why? And you gave an unfair punishment too. It wasn't, it wasn't fair or just for justice. Cause she didn't hit me as well or whatever. You just acted like she didn't do anything. And then you just said, I assaulted a little girl when I did it. And if, she's, if she hits me, I'm gonna defend myself whether you like it or not. I don't give two dams about what you think. If somebody hits me, I'm gonna hit them back. It's called defending yourself. Don't give five dams about what they say. If somebody hits you, hit, you hit them back. It's called defending yourself. That's the name, that's the name of the law of defending or whatever you call it. Anyway, let's get to the ELA teacher. ELA, a really good subject in school actually. I don't like like ELA in general, but like the teacher, she was nice. She read us good books. She gave us good books and stuff to read. And she actually was there to give me advice or whatever. And she was the one staff that wasn't like, oh, you should be hanging out with Brandon and Jeremiah. They're just going to get you in trouble, man. She wasn't one of those teachers. She wasn't one of those people. Not only that, but she actually was w willing to be the one that was trying to tell 
to tell me that they wanted me to switch classes into a class I, that people didn't like it or most people had a problem. She was there to talk to me when I needed someone to talk to. She was there. She was a good teacher in the school. I'm glad that they had her there. I will be honest with you. She's the ELA teacher is probably the best teacher that I know in the school that teaches 6th grade. I have to be honest about her. Mm.